So this is my poor little Clash of Clans village. And this is my girlfriend's village. Should I be embarrassed, boys? This video is sponsored by Clash of Clans, a game I've always wanted to pick up and try instead of sweating out every day on Battle Royales. Clash of Clans has been out for some time now, so you've probably already heard of it or even played it. And there's a reason why it's still so popular. It's a free-to-play mobile strategy video game developed by Supercell. And the game is set in a fantasy-themed persistent world where you, the player, is a chief of your own village. In Clash of Clans, you can build your own village using resources gained from attacking other players' villages with troops. And you can earn some awesome rewards doing it. The main resources are gold, elixir, and dark elixir, and players can join each other to create clans with groups of up to 50 people who can then participate in clan wars together, donate and receive troops, and even chat with each other in the game. Now, before I show you some gameplay, I want to personally give my own mobile gift card for you guys that play Clash of Clans. So if you want to win a free $10 gift card, then drop a like and drop a comment down below and let me know what level you are in Clash of Clans. Let's get into it. If you need an army to fight those goblins, let's build a barracks, right? Building a vax right now. We need some freaking legends. Train troops. Who we got? We got some barbarians. Hold that down. Okay, we got 18 barbarians right now. Look at them all. All right, they're defending. Just chilling around the fire. My boy's just chilling. Getting all toasty and shit. All right, let's go. Let's attack the goblin forest right now. You can deploy multiple troops by holding down your finger. Okay. Go, boys. Go, 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 go. Oh, damn. These guys are getting screwed by these archers. Quick, blow it up. Hey, let's go. All right, town hall. Easy battle, boys. Easy battle. We clutch in these situations. We clutch. All right, victory. 500 gold, 500 elixir again. Let's go. How shall you be known in our history? I shall be known henceforth as Roast the Raider. Boom. So with that gold, we can now upgrade the town hall real quick. Let's uh, let's upgrade that real quick. Boom, boom, boom. All right, boys. So this is my Clash of Clans right here. As you can see, I am a total noob. But I'm going to try and show you guys exactly how to play this game because it is a really cool game. You know, you can sit on the toilet. You can sit in bed. You can sit on the bus. You can play it anywhere. And it's a really cool game just to chill on, vibe, create clans together. So right now, this is my home base. You can see I've got a couple of buildings. I've got my town hall. I've got some elixir as well that i've just collected and some gold i've just collected as well so you can see the gold top right and the elixir top right and you can also get some free gems which i'm going to show you later on as well so right now my village is level three and the more raids and the more i upgrade my village i'm going to be able to collect rewards as well on this page so i'm gonna collect 2000 elixir and 2000 gold which i can't collect right now because i'm already maxed out on the top left you can see right here you can collect trophies to go up in the ranks from bronze all the way up to titan rank as well in the rank. So you can see all of the top clans, all of the top players. There's also a clan war league as well, which you can compete with your clan. Now, my village is basic. I've got barbarians and some freaking archers, okay? So I need to upgrade real quick, okay? So you can train tons of troops. It's got You've got giants, you've got wall breakers, you've got wizards. There's so much variety of troops that you can use in this game. You can even get all the way up to a freaking ice golem. An ice golem. So the main aim of this game is to basically build up my village and basically raid some people. So right here, you've got practice mode, you've got single player, and you've got multiplayer as well. So in the multiplayer, if I click find a match, it's actually going to match me with someone against my certain level. So if I go to find match right now, then right here, it's matched me with, I don't know his name, but he's got a pretty good base right now. He's got some good defenses. He's got a tower. He's got his town hall. But do you know what? We're just going to go up and attack it. Let's go. Barbarians attack. And then we're going to use my archers right now as well. And I think I'm just about to get absolutely destroyed because he's got cannons. And my barbarians are getting absolutely destroyed right now. But they made it to the town hall. Come on. Come on, destroy the town hall. And yeah, and I got two archers left and one archer left. And that is the end of that raid. I lost and I lost all of my troops. Let's return home, recoup, regenerate. And when you get defeated, your troops obviously diminish. So I've only got 10 barbarians and 10 archers right now. But if I go to my barracks, I can train some troops and I can get some more. So we're going to get the maximum amount of barbarians. We're going to get the maximum amount of archers as well. And if you want to speed up stuff, you can actually use these gems. Now, gems do cost in the game, but they go from 80, which is only 99p, all the way up to 14,000, which is £99.99. So if I want to 
you know, train and boost them really quickly. I can actually use 30 of them right now, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to get all of my barbarians super quick so we can be ready for the next raid. Now, if you don't want to play multiplayer, you can just do the single player campaign. Clash of Clans has got an amazing single player campaign. I've already completed two smoking barrels and gold rush. And we've also got cannonball rush. So do you know what? Let's just go do it right now. So let's inspect real quick. I can see this guy's got one, two, three cannons right now. So... Best bet is for me to probably stick a load of soldiers right here. All my barbarians. Let's do all my archers as well. They should be able to break the wall down and kill that cannon real quick. So now if I move in, they are going to automatically attack the town hall. But I should be able to destroy the town hall because that's the main thing. If you can destroy the town hall before uh, before dying or before your troops die, then you can bait, you can win and you win the game. So... Right now, it looks like I'm about to destroy it with my archers. My barbarians only just survived, and we're going to end the battle right now. And we got the victory, so it does work. So all you got to do is destroy the town hall. You can end the victory. You can end the battle, or if you want to carry on and destroy their other buildings, then you get more elixir, more gold. It just depends if you need it or not, you know. At the moment, my base has only got one cannon, and that's all I can build. But if I can level up my base, then I'm going to be able to buy more cannons, expand my base more. And it's going to look a bit like this, which is my girlfriend's. So as you can see, my girlfriend is an absolute beast at this game. Look at the size of her base. She is level 80. She has got a huge town hall that's level 9. She's got so many defenses. I mean, who the hell is going to be able to break this down? I don't even know. So as you compete further in the game, again, you're going to be able to upgrade your troops, upgrade your defenses, upgrade your buildings. And it gets a lot more intense. So do you know what? While she doesn't know, we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go and attack someone real quick. I don't even know how to attack these. She's got so many troops. So do you know what? Let's just let's just fire out as many troops as we can. Get as close to the town hall as we can as well. And let's just uh, let's just let's just put everyone out and see what they can do. She's got mini packers. She's got barbarians. She's got riders. She's got everything. We're putting everyone out right here. But it looks like they're getting absolutely destroyed right now. Getting rinsed. I think I've got one soldier left. Yeah, we've got one, one king left. But he's hanging in there. He's hanging in there. Come on. There we go. He's in the base. He's destroyed the wall. He's in the base now. All right. It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. This guy's got an actual Tesla tower. But we're still going. We're still going strong. We've made it in. We destroyed this. They're making their way closer to the town hall, but there's just so many defenses in this guy's. This guy's village is just disgustingly OP. I've got my king left. He's still going strong. He's blowing up the towers. That's it. And he's about to get destroyed. And I think that is the end of the battle. So I think I'm about to lose my girlfriend a lot of points right now. Got one measly soldier left. She's making her way in. She's got the bow. He's blown up some of those towers, but I think, I think that's going to be the end of the, the end of the fight. We've got one last robot mini pecker left, or is that a large pecker? We get one hit on the tower, two hits on the tower, three hits on the tower. Ah, oh, so close! Somehow we got a victory. Not really sure how that worked, but we got a victory, and there we go. My girlfriend's not going to kill me. She's not going to leave me and break up with me. Let's go. So, boys and girls, I know this is a slight different video. I just wanted to show you guys Clash of Clans, so thank you so much again for sponsoring me. I'm going to leave the download link in the description, so if you want to download and play with me, make sure you hit a like on this video. Drop a comment down below with your ID, and I'll get you added, and we can join a clan together. So, thanks for watching, boys. Peace.